Hello and welcome to this Hustle Castle video on the Valhalla Molopoly event. Today we'll be having a look at the new items, explaining why this event is good and how to get the most out of it if you're a new player wanting to learn more. I will also have a diamond giveaway at the end with 10 winners, so if you want to be a part of the future giveaways then make sure you watch this till the very end and I'll explain how you can join in. So for this video these are the main things that we'll be covering today and you can skip to any of these times if you like, but again you still might learn something just by listening through the video. Let's start with the best things that you can earn from this event, and we're talking event items, the other things will be covered later in the video. So firstly, the best item I would have to say would definitely be the Worldly Serpent Ring. This is in first place just because of how much damage it can provide, and when it is made into an ancient set it can produce up to 150,000 damage instead of 75,000. It's a shame they've made this available to everyone who basically plays this event, it would have been nicer to see it in one of the chests to make it a little bit harder to get. The second best item to be looking to get will be the God of War outfit for the mage. Again the damage here can be insane just for wearing the item alone. I know it's not always going to be active, but when it does, you can be sure it's going to cause a great deal of damage and that's even before any spell power is added on. And the last good item you can get from this event and it just makes the list will be the Thunder God Plate Mail. This armour will help keep your tanks alive and it can be very useful for tanks that don't produce a lot of damage, like the Execution or a Bastion as the bonus 10% of his max health can be quite substantial to the extra damage. Now, there are quite a few close contenders to being great, but the wording actually makes them lose out. For example, the Thunder God Sword. At the bottom, we can see the unit equipped in this sword can deal 40% more damage to enemies that it freezes, but if it said all allies would deal 40% more damage, then this would certainly be worth having. Another item that just misses the mark is Fenrir's Spirit Amulet. It's great to see that this item helps against the dragon wand or dino wand, but unfortunately the wording doesn't help. Normally the first hit from the wand is what causes the damage, so it would have been great to see it gain the health back after being hit, basically keeping them alive. And if the amulet silenced the weapon and armour of the enemy by 4 seconds instead of 2, then I think this would have made it a much better item. So that's my take on the items from this event, but it would be great to see what everyone else thinks. Leave a comment below of what you think the best item is you can get from this event and explain why and it'll be great to see what everyone else thinks. Now next for the video, why is this event good and who is it actually targeting? This event is great because of the rewards that it gives and quite freely too. I would always recommend anyone to pay for the silver pass and actually grind this as much as they would for a rune event if you need to do any of the following things. Upgrade gems including merging, want a better hero or want to upgrade their castle rooms including their throne room. If you want to do any of these things then you should be doing this event, and it's still not too late even if you see this video in a few days time. For myself I wait for events like this to start merging gems, and so far I've already been able to make 3 ancient gems. Now as a disclosure, my gems were already maxed out as legendaries, but I still needed the money to merge them which actually didn't take me that long to do, and I've nearly done another legendary gem at the time of this recording. Molopoly events are great for earning resources and some nice gear for around your castle like the mithril or chef equipment, so make the use out of this and make sure you play the game. And if you're liking this video, make sure you get subscribed to see me cover the next event which will be in the near future. So with finishing up this video, how can we do well in this event? Well luckily it's simple. The best thing you can always do and why I always recommend to players is to always do their gem base. Now this can always seem like a drag if you've been doing this for a long time, but they definitely are the best ways of gaining these rewards in the quickest time possible. So make sure you do all of your free and ample costing ones, and if you have the diamonds, even pay for the 100 diamond costing one. The next big thing you should always do is to complete your daily quests. They're not normally too hard to do, and the bigger the pass you brought, the more quests you're going to have to do, so just keep that in mind for future Molopoly events. And finally, always give your friends resources, as this can give you 80 coins each time, and make sure you press the get resources even if your inventory is full, if you don't plan to play for the rest of the day, because that way you'll still get the bonus 160 coins per person accepted. Moving on to things that you should be doing as much as possible, but aren't as crucial as the ones I've mentioned before. Always remember to watch your adverts. If you don't know how to do the advert trick, then you can watch my video on how to get the most runes in a rune event, and I explain how you can watch all of your adverts for that day in just 15 to 20 minutes. The rest of the list will be as follows and in this order. Make sure you do as many arenas as possible, as for each win can earn you 100 coins. So even if you lose a lot, eventually your arenas will come around with some wins, so just do them in between of other things like doing the gem bays. Next thing to complete is going to be your portal levels. This is a pretty simple task to do and should always be done weekly. It gives you 140 coins for completing every level that has a chest on it except for level 3. 
This is pretty similar to other events like the rune events, but this time they allow you to go all the way down to level 6 instead of level 57. After that, PvPs will give you the quickest amount of coins over dungeons, but that's more of a short time burst, and then I would leave dungeons until last until you've done everything else you've wanted to do. For completing bosses you receive 200 coins, so when you get lucky with a boss dungeon, you can make up some ground there and get quite a lot of coins. I wanted to mention this at the end because it's not always in your control if you get to fight or where you get placed, but by winning clan wars you can win 1600 coins, which is certainly a nice boost just for deploying. So if you can, try and stick with someone that's fairly strong in your clan just while the event is going on. If you like this video then please give it a like so that I know that you did, and if you want to see how you can earn the most runes possible then make sure you watch this video here as it has some great information that not a lot of people are talking about. For people interested in the giveaway, let's have a look at who the winners are. And for anyone new to the channel, you can enter these giveaways by just clicking the Gleam link in the description. All you need to do is enter your in-game ID and that's it, you've entered. Then you have a chance of winning 250 diamonds and you can do this every single week. And this is all thanks to the Hustle Castle team, so you can check out their Facebook page in the description if you like to. So let's see who the winners are for this week's giveaway. And as usual, I'll be making sure that all sensitive information is blurred out. So well done to everyone that won, the next giveaway will be live now and you can join that again in the description and good luck to everyone that enters.